Al Mumlaka. Islam. So this is the country profile for the Moroccan kingdom. And it's on Library of Congress. Every nation has one filed. But it says the former name, Kingdom of Morocco, Al Mamlaka Al Magriba, short form, Morocco, T term for citizenship, Moroccan. But this is the part I want to show you at the bottom because it speaks on the history, but it speaks on how they give tribute annually to what they said was the Berbers, which we know the Moors, the Aboriginal indigenous there for the use of. See, we'll just I'll read it to you. Morocco, later Carth Carthage, developed commercial relations with the Berber tribes of the interior and paid them an annual tribute to ensure their cooperation in the exploitation of raw materials. So just like in this part of Morocco, because Noble Drali told you how far, how far it stretches. And like I said, South America right now was just put under the jurisdiction of the Moroccan kingdom because they have all that phosphate. But they can't skip North America and the Central. But nonetheless, the colonizers are supposed to be paying annual tribute for the exploitation of your raw materials in the Americas. And you're saying you're Aboriginal and Indigenous, you know, Moorish Americans, the descendants of Moroccans born in America. Now, speaking of Morocco, I wanted to speak of this brother right here. Now, I spoke to... You know, many elders on the phone, I'll just call him up like Ross Adiel. He'll he'll talk a lot of stuff, but I'll just call him up like he'll call me Satan or something. So I'll call him up on the phone and he'll answer. And I'll be like, so I'm Satan. he would be like, I don't know, are you? And then we just start going back and forth. But one time when I was speaking with him, he was like, that's why the Moors went up to the kingdom of Morocco and try to act like um they was going to be safe. And the people told him they was going to take him up in the mountain to um, take them to the to their people and when they went up there they kidnapped them and tied them up and was like making them give them money to let them loose and he was like three or four of them was let loose but two of them was was held up there and he didn't say they was released and that was these moors that came from chicago up there and now that now that i think of it since we have proof that moors from chicago went to the kingdom of morocco and then all of a sudden the moroccan flag pops up in 56 it might be moors that went from chicago up here up there and is running it and getting payment for all of the resources you never know because it was just funny that in 56 then the here comes the flag already but you got to remember moors y'all had the centennial ball and the the moroccan kingdom representative came and said we are awaiting the moors proposal so I don't know, but this is enough proof right here to to, to demand people that's um, demanding water bills and different stuff like that. Y'all are owed. You're owed for the um, use of your resources from the colonizers and with compound, compound interest. That's what Noble Ali was speaking about, because like I said, there could be Moors that went from Chicago in the 20s or in the 30s and went on up into Morocco and started setting up stuff and now they're sitting up in morocco as the kingdom you never know moors it was funny how they're just going to stand up with the same flag that our prophet had you know but islam like i said every nation has this filed in the library of congress so just look over it and uh study 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 islam <laughs>